Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers. Our viewer asks, how can we manage async transactions in JavaScript to ensure they run in sequence without overlapping? Let's break down the question. The viewer wants to create a system where a sequence of asynchronous functions or transactions can be locked with a unique name or ID. This way, if another transaction with the same name is triggered, it will wait until the first one is complete. This is crucial for maintaining order and preventing conflicts in async operations. All right, guys, we're back with another technical question. I'll be going through the question, the answer, and I'm hoping, just like me, you stay a little bit crazy to get that answer all the way through. Guys, let's get started. To manage asynchronous transactions in JavaScript, we need to ensure that certain functions run in sequence. This means that if one function is running, others with the same identifier should wait. Let's define our functions. We have three functions, A, B, and C. Function C depends on B, which means we need to control their execution order. To implement the locking mechanism, we can create a queue system. This will allow us to in-queue transactions based on their identifiers, ensuring that only one transaction runs at a time. Here's a simple implementation of the queue. We will use a map to track the running transactions and a function to handle the queuing logic. Finally, you can call your functions using this queue system. This way, if function C is called while B is still running, it will wait until B is complete before executing. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. You can create your own transaction manager in JavaScript. This allows you to handle asynchronous transactions effectively. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To handle async transactions in JavaScript, you can use async and await. It's also recommended to have Babel transpile your code for compatibility. Here's a simple example. First, define a function that returns a promise. Then create an async function that awaits the result of that promise. Finally, you can chain async functions. In this case, function C awaits the result of function B, allowing for clean and readable asynchronous code. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. For handling asynchronous transactions in JavaScript, you can use RxJS. It offers a variety of functions to manage single, multiple, dependent, and parallel async calls.
Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In JavaScript, async transactions can be handled using promises. You can define functions that return promises, allowing you to perform asynchronous operations. For example, function A and function B both return promises, while function C returns a value. You can chain these functions together. You can use the result from one function as an argument for the next. This allows for a smooth flow of data through your async operations. For more details on JavaScript promises, check out the link provided. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To handle async transactions in JavaScript, you can create a wrapper function. This wrapper returns an object with two methods, doCall and wait. You should call the wrapper only once. The doCall method executes your function and tracks its completion for the wait method. The wait method will resolve when do call finishes. Here's a code example. The wrap promise fn function wraps your async function, allowing you to call it and wait for its result. You can find the full code on CodePen. This approach demonstrates the concept effectively, but it would need some enhancements to pass arguments from do call to the wrapped function. And that's it. I hope that helped find the resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.